Hey guys, it's Stephanie with Simmerkey, and welcome to a speed build of The Sims 4 Jungle Restaurant using the new, brand new Sims 4 Jungle Adventure game pack. I'm so excited to be doing some more builds with this pack. I've only done one so far. Well, technically one is a video here on YouTube, but I also did a live stream on Twitch and a live stream on YouTube as well. So I've definitely got to play with the pack a bit, but I'm excited to do another another official formal form. Wow, I can never talk. Why? I don't know why I don't just start over, but I don't. I'm excited to do another official formal video for you guys. And if you missed the first one, it was some jungle villas, which were really fun and cute. I built a really fun pond around the property and built my own little waterfalls and put two villas on the property. And that was my real first look at the pack. So I will make sure to link that below so you can check that out. Now this one, like I said, and as the title suggests, is a restaurant. I did take some inspiration from the Rainforest Cafe. If if you don't know what that is, it is a restaurant here in the United States. I'm pretty sure, as far as I know, it's only at Disney or Universal. I think it's at Disney. I don't know. It's at one of the big theme parks. There might be more of them throughout the country, but maybe even around the world. I have no idea. I've never actually been there, though, which is funny, but I've always wanted to because it is set up like a rainforest, and the whole inside is full of just, like, plants, and there's a big aquarium with actual live fish and all of this amazing stuff. I've seen pictures. I... I guess technically I've been there before. I walked through it one time. I didn't sit down and eat, but when I was at downtown, I think it was downtown Disney or Universal. I can't remember which one. <laughs> I have such a bad memory, but I did like walk inside and go, ooh, ah, I'd love to come actually come here someday as a customer. Um, but I, it, this doesn't really look like it. So that's why I said I just drew inspiration because there is this giant aquarium here in the middle between the two buildings. So you'll see as we go further on, one building is going to be more of the formal sit down restaurant and the other is going to be more of a bar slash uh, dance area, I guess. So this actually was a request for one of my viewers. I'm so sorry I forgot to write down her name. Um, but they asked me to do a, 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 like a Mexican-style restaurant. So I didn't exactly do that, but I did do a restaurant based on that feedback. I didn't even think to do a restaurant. So really excited about that. Um, now, I did put the fish signs from Buy to Bug inside of that pool. So there will be fishies inside. And yes, you can see it through the glass through inside of the restaurant or outside. You can see them right there. They're sitting on top. Uh, they will maybe possibly accidentally float into the restaurant during your gameplay. So just keep an eye on that just in case. I'm not sure exactly how far out they extend. Uh, I definitely had to make a massive pool to keep them contained in there, but one, one might still stray and attack one of your customers while they're eating. <laughs> Actually, funny story. Oh my gosh, you can do this in Sims 3 as well with the ponds. Uh, you can put fish in them if you go into Buy to Bug. It's a little bit different the way that it works, but same concept. There's fishies in the water. And one house that I toured, because if you guys don't know, I love doing house tours. I love seeing what you guys built. So one house that I toured was... Uh, it had like a pond in the middle, but for some reason, I don't know what happened if it glitched out when I downloaded it or if it was just a mistake when it was being built. But while I was touring the house, fishies were jumping in the air, coming up through the floorboards. And I was so freaked out. I was like, oh my God, it's Attack of the Killer Fish. <laughs> and I'll always remember that every time, every time I play with a fish in a pond or a pool in The Sims, I will always remember the, remember the day that I was attacked by fishies in The Sims 3. But uh, I gotta say, it's pretty hilarious, pretty hilarious. Now, this pack comes with such amazing stuff. We did do an official review of all of the items in depth on Twitch and on YouTube during those live streams. So if you want to see, the, see those, you can easily go find them or leave me a comment and I'll link them to you. I don't want to link a million things in the description because then it gets all cloggy and messed up and hard to read, hard to find stuff. But um, yeah, there there is a full in-depth review of the item. So if you want to see exactly what the pack comes with, we also reviewed um, during the Twitch stream, we reviewed all the items in Buy to Bug, which by the way, I found a bunch more after that stream. So there is a lot of stuff. If you don't know what Buy to Bug is, it is a secret menu that you can use by typing in testing sheets on, enter, and then typing in BB dot show hidden objects. It's a way to pull up a cheat uh, to unlock a menu that basically the developers use to make the game and there's hidden objects that you used are, um, I don't know what I can't, uh, I don't know why I can't talk today. I should have just started over. <laughs> Sorry guys. This is me though. This is me. Real raw Stephanie. You never know what you're going to get. Why am I tongue tied? It's like 10 30 in the morning. It's not even that early. I only came in a little bit early to record this. <laughs> 
<laughs> but what I was saying is you can unlock secret items. Yes, find a bug. Anyways, I'll do a full tutorial about that if you would like. And I do have a tutorial series if you don't know. It started off very basic stuff for beginners. That is always linked in the description. And I will start doing some more advanced stuff like how to create your own pond and how to create your own waterfalls and tree houses and anything like that. So if you've ever seen something that I've done or if you're cur curious if there's something that can be done in The Sims that you haven't seen done before, leave me a comment below and I will definitely make a tutorial on it. I love taking objects and using them in different ways that they were intended to be used or like I said going into buy to bug and finding all these really cool items that we normally wouldn't have access to and figuring out cool and creative ways to use those. So definitely leave your feedback in the comments of what you want to see. I will probably do a video on anything that's requested at this point. Um, I do plan on doing that more advanced tutorial series probably starting in the next month or so. I do still want to get out uh, some more jungle builds if I can this week. So if you have requests for those, let me know as well. And after that, I am going to be focusing on releasing some videos that I've done with some amazing simmers. They're all little collabs where I build houses and then another simmer furnishes it. So they might furnish it on their YouTube channel or they might furnish it live. Um, but I have about I don't know, 15 or 20 of those, I think. There's a lot of them. So I'm going to try to get those all out this month, as well as some starter homes that I built. And the starter homes are just going to have mainly music played over them. There won't be like full face cam and voiceover on those. Um, but that's the plan for March, in case you're curious. Yes, there is going to be daily videos in March, even though last month I announced I was going down to one video a week. I don't know what's wrong with me. I say things and then I don't do them. But I mean, that's that's what an anarchist, you know, does, right? They don't follow rules. I make rules for myself and then I break them. So <laughs> no surprise there, I guess. If you don't know, uh, Sims and anarchy combined together are the two words that I use to make the name Simarchy. So yes, I don't like rules. I don't like rules, which is weird because I love challenges in the Sims. So I guess I just break them. <laughs> I just take a concept and then I do what I want. I don't know. What can I say? That's the magic of the game though, right? You can do whatever you want. If you don't like the fish in the pool and you'd rather have your fish floating throughout the restaurant attacking your customers, you can do that. You can totally do that. <laughs> uh, this game's just great. It really, really is. And I must say again how much I'm enjoying this jungle pack. I was so... Ugh, I hate to say this, but I wasn't very excited when I first heard about it because I thought I was going to be so focused on gameplay, which don't get me wrong, it definitely is focused on gameplay. And even though I am a builder, I did spend, I think, four or five hours doing gameplay on YouTube, here on YouTube, on the live stream that was on Monday, and today's what, Wednesday? So just a couple days ago, you could go back and find that pretty easily. Uh, we did go throughout the temple, and we had a lot of fun adventures. Uh, I'll tell that story in a second, but I wanted to complete my thought. <laughs> what I was saying is this pack actually surprised me and came with some am amazing building items. So as a builder, you can definitely enjoy it, and as a player, you can definitely enjoy it. So let me get into that story. I'm so glad I remember to tell it. So basically, we took my sim self and we put her into her new safari gear, which by the way, the girls got really cool, awesome new clothes with this pack. The guys not so much. I wasn't really crazy about the guy stuff. Um, but anyways, we created my sim self a husband and Cass, and we went to Salvadorada. I think I finally said that right. <laughs> the new the new town, the new vacation town that comes with the jungle pack. And we went on an adventure. It was our first date technically, but you know, you know how fast the sims can move right so we went up to a waterfall there was a beautiful scene set up the sims automatically got flirty because they were next to the waterfall and let's just say let's just say they ended up uh my sim ended up asking khalil if he would be her boyfriend and he said yes and then they had a little woohoo in the bush <laughs> They did end up getting preggers. Uh, they adopted a cat that we found in Selva Dorada, so we grew our family quickly. And then she proposed to him right in front of the waterfall. So after that happened, we went through the temple, and unfortunately, spoiler alert, poor Khalil caught fire and died in a tragic accident whilst I was carrying his unborn son. Uh, and then I decided to flirt with death a little bit and become good friends with the Grim Reaper. We adopted him into our Sims family. <laughs> And then throughout the temple, we encountered some really fun, crazy skeleton people. I don't know what they were, but they we, we cheated and added them to our family as well. So I lost a future husband, 
but I gained a baby, a cat, the Grim Reaper, and two skeleton friends. So I think it was a good adventure. I think it, I think it was fine. Uh, we did do a little bit of gameplay where we went back home and had the baby. I was really hoping we could have the baby in the temple, but the game apparently doesn't let you do that. It forces you go to go back to your actual original home lot. Um, you can't give birth in the vacation world unless someone knows of a way to do it. It wouldn't let me. Like, she was in labor for I don't know how long until I actually went back home and then she had the baby. And, of course, we named him Temple in honor of the temple that he was conceived at. <laughs> It was crazy. It was nuts. There's also screenshots of all of that on my Twitter and on my Facebook group. So if you want links to any of that, check the description. I think, I don't know if the Facebook group is linked, but you can go to Facebook and type Simmerkists, like my word, my name with I-S-T-S at the end, Simmerkist. I don't know. S-I-M-R. No, don't, you know, I better not try to spell on camera. I will mess that up badly. If you can't find the link, just comment below again and I will answer you. And I do tell you people, you people, I tell you... <laughs> I tell you people, no, I do ask you guys to leave comments fairly often. And I know sometimes you do and sometimes you don't, but I do want to make it absolutely clear that I read and respond to every single comment left on this channel. I don't know if I'll be able to do that forever, but I have for the past two years. And oh my God, are we hitting two year anniversary soon? <gasps> guys, we're hitting two year anniversary soon. We'll have to do something special. Let me know what you want to do for our two year anniversary. Um, but what I was trying to say is I do respond to every comment. I want you guys to engage with each other. I want this to be a community of friends, not just a one-on-run relationship where I make a video and you guys watch and never talk to each other. I want you guys to make friends in the comments. I want you to share your sim stories. I want you to talk about anything you want to talk about as long as it's family friendly, of course, which I know it will be because you guys are also awesome. Um, but I definitely want to engage with you guys and, and develop our community more, you know? You know what I mean? We're all awesome. If you have ever come to any of the live streams, you would know how amazing the Sims community is because we all get together, we play the game, we inspire each other, and we have fun, and it's a great time. So I definitely want to talk more about that. I've mentioned it in a few videos before, but I really mean it. When I say comment below, I want to hear from you. And I know sometimes people are shy or they don't know what to say or they just don't feel like being social, which is totally fine. But even if you just leave a comment that says hi, it will make my day and I will be so happy. But guys, we're into the screenshots now. So you just saw a view of the outside. Um, that was a view of the outdoor seating area, and now we're on the inside. I love these open windows. We can see straight into the beautiful garden outside, and we do have some more aquariums. So on top of the giant aquarium, we have a few little ones in the formal dining area as well. Lots of fishies. It makes me really happy because I'm a mermaid, and mermaid likes, mermaids like their fishy friends, right? <laughs> Uh, all of, ugh, again, all the foliage and greenery and it, this pack is so great. I can't say enough good things about it. I love every item that came with it. There isn't anything that was kind of bleh. The only thing I wish is that some of the furniture had more colors to them um, because some of the color patterns are on some furniture and some weren't and I want everything to be more cohesive and I'm I am I want all I want all of it. I want it all. <laughs> but anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I had so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope that you'll subscribe so you don't miss my next video and I'll see you guys next time. I hope you have a wonderful wonderful day. Bye. Wait guys, before you go anywhere, don't forget to click over here to watch new videos and click on my face when I disappear to subscribe.